Since Canada erupted in protest against the government's attempts to do away with many collective rights of First Nations peoples, right-wing media venues have been incessantly belittling and chastising Idle No More activists and certain Aboriginal leaders. Many believe that pro-Israel journalists in particular have been critical of Idle No More activists because they fear the implications of ordinary Canadians siding with the victims of colonization. Just as the principle of self-determination is disrespected in Canada's foreign policy, so domestically, right-wing journalists and politicians appear to be unwilling to recognize the legally enshrined right of Canada's First Nations to decide their own fate. Canadian journalists have lashed out at Chief Theresa Spence, who came close to death after undertaking a Gandhian-style six-week hunger strike. How can someone who claims to be starving herself for a month be so fat? How can an Indian chief who pleads poverty actually be rich? Analysts note that pro-Israel media venues such as the National Post and Sun News, which are perceived to be whitewashers of the Israeli regime's crimes against the Palestinians, are now honing in on the colonized of Canada, a reality which compelled anti-racist activists to protest outside Sun News's offices this week. Don't go to mainstream media because the mainstream media is so biased right now and, and, and we're in 2013 and there's still children out there in the, in the reservations that are starving. Why don't they report about that? Why do they report about, oh, you know what, you're stealing your taxpayer money. Uh, we have to remember that there, we have a lot to lose in Canada by being honest about the treatment of First Nations. These people have been marginalized. We do have apartheid in Canada. Despite hostility from what they call ethnocentric journalists in Canada, Idle No More activists vow to continue to protest the government's mistreatment of Canada's menaced and endangered Aboriginal minorities with the Idle No More International Day of Solidarity scheduled for this coming Monday. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Calgary.